Um, let's solve. Let's look at this question again, please. Another question on initial value problem. All right. Of course, your first task is to look at the equation there. This differential equation is which of them? Which of the forms? Is it direct integration? Is it variable separable? Do you have to put y equal to vx? Or do you have to take the integrating factor concept? Obviously, from here, if you look at this, right, look at the pattern of arrangement there. Dy dx equal to u of x, y equals, or plus u of x, y equals what there? V of x. So, obviously, it's what there? Integrating factor concept. Y prime is dy dx. So, we we'll just call this dy dx. So, dy dx, that's y prime plus, this is 2. To make this easier, I'll just take 1 over x, 2 times 1 over x. Same thing, no, no big deal. Then y, it's equal to 4x. Of course, this becomes u of x. u of x is equal to whatever thing that's attached to y, which in this case is 2 times 1 over x. Right, for me, I can get my integrating factor. I know that integrating factor is equal to exponential of the integral of u of x. Of course, with respect to x, we have this. If I impute values, this is equal to exponential. This value here, integral of u of x is 2 times 1 over x dx. In integrating this, the tax is simple. I'll move the constant term outside integral sign. That becomes exponential 2 integral of this one here, 1 over x dx. So I have this. Moving on, moving on, moving on. If I integrate 1 over x, I have what there? Lean x. So the integrating factor is equal to exponential to lean x. I have this, of course. From our previous example, we've explained that if you have a um, if you have a term like this, it means that the integrating factor if is equal to exponential. This two goes here as a power. That becomes what there? Lean of x to power what there? Two. Also, we said if you have exponential lean anything, it will be equal to what there? That thing, x squared. This was proven in our previous class. Link in video description. All right, so integrating factor is x squared. Right. Um, the next task is to multiply this equation through by x squared. Starting from here, becomes x squared multiplying everything here dy dx, sorry, plus 2, 1 over x, y, it's equal to x squared times what I have here, 4x, I have this. All right, so what do I have here? This and this, I have x squared, dy dx plus, of course, this is 2. You observe that x will cancel x squared. I'm left with x. So x times 2 times 1 times y. x times 2 is 2x. Two 2x two times 1 is 2x. 2x two two times y is 2xy. So 2xy is equal to x squared times 4 is 4x power there. 3. I have this. I don't have the choice about this. This would be the differential d of dx of y multiplying the integ integrating factor. That's x squared. So y times x squared. This is equal to this man here, 4x cubed. For x cubed. Okay, next up, move the x over here. I have d of y dot x squared. It's equal to this times this, 4x cubed dx. This from here, integrating through, right? Integrating. 
integrate what do I have there? I have the integral of d y dot x squared is equal to the integral of 4x cubed dx. Okay, from here, integral cancels differential. y dot x squared is equal to, to integrate this, obviously this is what there, general method. That becomes 4x to the power, add 1 to this, 3 plus 1 gives you 4, all over, divide by same thing, 4 plus c. You have this. Proceeding with this, this cancels this. So you have that y, it's e y dot x squared, it's equal to x to the power 4 plus c. I have this. To get the value of y, divide both sides by x squared, or divide each term if you want to. Divide each term by x squared. If I do that, it becomes y dot x squared all over x squared. It's equal to x to the power 4 all over x squared plus c all over x squared. From here, this cancels this y. It's equal to this and this um, same base becomes x. It becomes 4 minus 2, that's 2, plus c over x squared. So here is my answer. I have this. But they gave us a condition. So let's bring in the condition. But the condition is that y of, of what? 1 is equal to 2. What this means is that when x equal to the term in the bracket 1, y is equal to the term outside there, 2. So you have this. Let us substitute. It means that y, 2, is equal to x squared, that is 1 squared, plus c all over x squared, that's 1 squared. You have this. Wherever I see x, I put 1. Wherever I see y, I put 2. That's it. Simplified is what you have. Simplifying is I have that 2 is equal to 1 squared gives you 1 plus C all over 1 squared gives you 1. This would be equal to 2 plus 2 equal to 1 plus c over 1 gives you what there? c. To get the value of c, I'll move 1 over here. That becomes 2 minus 1. That gives you 1. So 1 is equal to c. Or c equal to 1. Let's substitute. Substituting. If I substitute, what do you have? I'll put the value of c back into your y equation. So hence, we have that the value of y, so we can say y is equal to x squared x squared plus x or c plus c that's plus one all over x squared y equal to x squared plus c c is one all over x squared this becomes the answer to the question so that's how you solve that question if you want to you can also find dy dx and then substitute it as you have in that question. You have the answer that it gives to you. It works like that. All right? Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description.